Obviously, uh, like all of us, we want to make sure the investigation is complete, but I, I don't think there's any question that's going to point directly at Russia. Uh, Secretary Kerry was on the morning shows on Sunday talking about the 150 uh, vehicle convoy taking equipment into, uh, into Russia. We know that they've been supporting them financially. We know that Russian military folks have been inside the country. We know early on when this was just beginning that as people would take over uh, uh, city halls, if you will, in eastern Ukraine, they were on the phone uh, with people in Russia asking what they should do. Should they stand down? Should they go ahead? So this has been going on for a long time with no real response from us and no real response for sure from Europe, and uh, it's a really sad situation. And there's bipartisan support, I think you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Levin, Menendez, Feinstein yesterday also pushing for the same thing that I've been pushing for for some time, and that is additional sectoral sanctions. Chuck, I was just in uh, Poland not long ago, and right. I, I won't name the official, but what they're so concerned about is that Western Europe and the U.S. are going to settle for what's called a bitter peace, where you put up up with Russia acting as they are in order just to keep doing business. And, and I think you know, I mean, history shows that if you continue to do that, uh, the problem festers. Uh, at some point, things get out of control. And, and again, I, I think we've been incredibly tepid and cautious. And I want to say one more time, there is bipartisan support right. for this administration to act alone without Europe.